Hello everyone, welcome to General Tech. Today I have a tutorial on how to root LG Optimus F3 and also move the applications to the SD card so that you can save some space for more apps. Special thanks to the Fandroid for making a forum for LG Optimus F3 Metro PCS and also special thanks for Fox Builder or Modder for verifying that Moto Chopper works on rooting this device. Download Moto Chopper. I'm not gonna share any link, but if you Google it, there's quite a few of links that you can uh, read about the Moto Chopper and download it. I'm just gonna click the hexamob.com, and there is a step by step guide. Even though it says Galaxy S4, but it's going to work for Optimus F3. Just going to download the Moto Chopper because I already have the driver. And then I go to my phone and scroll all the way down to developer options. And then I would click USB debugging on. When you connect it to the computer, it should show USB debugging connected. Now leave the phone connected and I am gonna click double click on run. Press any key to continue. My phone is already rooted using this method so it's not showing the rest of the step but once you hit run a message will appear on your Optimus F3 and you click OK after a short of waiting you'll be asked to again click on any key and your phone will restart so just wait and follow the prompt on the screen and you're good to go to root the phone if your phone is successfully rooted you will see a super user in your app drawer. And this is the application that I used to move the applications to SD card. Root App Delete. You can find it in Google Play Store. And if you open it, there's a App to SD icon right there. And you can move, for instance, the Amazon is taking 4.2 megabytes. You can move it to SD card. and done. Simple. And also using the system apps I go to promote you can remove bloodwares some, some of those that you don't use. Also there's a junk scan I So it's scanning for all junks that you can remove and you can delete all to save some space. Alright, so if you have any other questions, please leave it down below as a comment and I'll look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.